friends, I'm Stephanie. Welcome to Church at Home. I'm so glad you're watching Church with me today. I can't wait to sing songs, learn a Bible story, and even pop some bubbles with you. I'm feeling so excited. We are learning more today about some feelings, big and important feelings, like feeling happy, sad, scared, angry, and nervous. Do you ever feel any of those things? Our big idea today reminds us that no matter what we're feeling, we can always do what God says. It says, when I have big feelings, I can obey God. Now repeat that after me, ready? When I have big feelings, I can obey God. Great job. That word obey means to listen to God and do what he says. No matter if we feel angry or scared or if we feel like something isn't fair, we can always do what God says. Let's sing a song right now that reminds us we can trust God and do what he says. So let's stand up and sing and dance together. All right, you guys, this song is called Journey. Let's go ahead and bounce together. This song is about how when we follow God and trust in Him, He will take us on an amazing journey. So let's start by singing, When Waves Roar. Can you guys do this? When waves roar in front of me So high that I can't see you I don't have to be afraid Sing out, when your voice is calling me When your voice is calling me To deep seas I've never I don't have to be afraid. All right, let's sing. I know your promises are true. I know your promises are true. Promises are true. I believe you. Give me faith in everything I do. You light my way. Come on, let's go on a journey. Sailing the ocean of God's great love. Come on, let's go on a journey. I'll trust the Lord with all my heart And He'll direct my path Come on, let's go on a journey Of God's great love All right, you guys, let me see you jumping and moving Let's sing of God's great love Of God's great love Good job All right, you guys, we're going to sing When waves roar in front of me Let's go like this When waves roar in front of me So high that I can't see you I don't have to be afraid Sing out when your voice is calling me When your voice is calling me To deep seas I've never traveled I don't have to be afraid Let's sing out, I know your promises are true I know your promises are true, promises are true I believe you, give me faith in everything I do You light my way Let's sing it out. Come on, let's go on a journey. Sailing the ocean of God's great love. Come on, let's go on a journey. Holding on to His promises from above. I'll trust the Lord. I'll trust the Lord with all my heart. And He'll direct my path. Come on, let's go on a journey of God's great love. All right, you guys, let's sing out of God's great love. Everyone together. Of God's great love. Good job. And last time, everyone sing that out of God's great love. Of God's great love. Great job singing and dancing. That song says, when your voice is calling me to deep seas I've never traveled, I don't have to be afraid. That means that sometimes God wants us to make the right choice and obey Him, even though we may not want to. But we can believe that God always has a good plan and it's always the best choice to obey Him and do what He says, no matter what we're feeling. That reminds me of a story from one of my favorite books. Do you know what this is? That's right, this is a Bible, God's special book for us. It's a book that teaches us real stories about people and places from a long time ago. The story I want to show you from the Bible today is a story about Jonah. God told Jonah to obey him, but Jonah felt like he didn't want to do what God asked him to do. Let's watch this video and see if Jonah chose to obey God. So let's put on our thinking caps and listening ears and watch this Bible story. 
Stories of the Bible. Jonah. This is Jonah. Uh -huh. Jonah was a prophet. That means it was his job to tell people what God told him to say. Yep. One day, God told Jonah to go to Nineveh because the people of Nineveh were doing bad things. Uh... But instead, Jonah ran away. Where are you, please? And went to the port to board a ship, going the other way. He was hoping to get away from God. Walmart. He sailed for a place called Tarshish. While he was at sea, God sent a great and powerful wind over the sea that caused a storm that seemed like it would break the ship apart. Fearing for their lives, the sailors tried everything they could think of to save the ship. Meanwhile, Jonah was sound asleep. So the captain went down and said, how can you sleep at a time like this? Get up and pray to your God. Maybe he will help us. Then the crew figured out that Jonah was the reason for the storm. Uh, uh -oh. And they asked him, who are you? Why is this happening to us? Jonah told them who he was and that he worshiped the one true God who made the sea. Then he told the sailors to throw him in the sea so the storm would stop. No, why? The sailors still tried to escape the storm, but it was no use. Uh... So they asked God for forgiveness and threw Jonah into the sea. The storm stopped at once. Whoa! The sailors were amazed at God's power and they vowed to serve him. Now God sent a great fish to swallow Jonah. Uh, great. And Jonah was inside the fish for three days and nights. Jonah prayed to God from inside the fish and God ordered the fish to spit Jonah out. Uh, yuck. God told Jonah again to go to the city of Nineveh to tell them what God had said about them. I get it, I get it. This time, Jonah obeyed God and went to Nineveh to deliver God's message. <coughs> the people of Nineveh stopped doing bad things and turned to God. They were saved because they listened to the message that God had given Jonah. Did you see that big fish? Wow! God told Jonah to go visit the people in Nineveh who were making wrong choices and tell them God's rules. Jonah didn't want to go and he felt some big feelings. He didn't want to obey God. But God used the big fish to teach Jonah that even when he doesn't want to obey, it's always the right choice to do what God says. And Jonah ended up obeying God. And we can obey God too. That reminds me of a special verse in the Bible. But wait, it's all covered with bubbles. Can you help me pop them all so we can see our Bible verse? Let's pop some bubbles together. Okay, everybody, it's bubble popping time. A bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, wait. That's not a bubble, that's a bubble. Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles. Bubble popping party people, let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here, and pop them by the side. That's it, all right, all right, keep going, yay! We're almost there, we the pop. popping the bubbles, everyone. And look what you did. We can see our Bible verse now. Let's read it together. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true. 2 Timothy 3.16. That Bible verse tells us that the stories we read in the Bible are true and they are from God. 
This true story about Jonah teaches us that when we have big feelings and don't want to do something, we have two choices. We can be upset and pout, or we can choose to obey. God says it's always the right choice to obey Him and obey our mom and dad or teachers and other safe grown-ups when they ask us to do something that's right. So let's stand and sing that Bible verse song together right now. This song is 2 Timothy 3.16. You guys, it's about how every verse in the Bible is given to us by God to teach us something. So we're gonna sing out all scripture. Everyone go out like this, reach wide. Ready to spin? And one more. Great job singing that song. The Bible is one of the ways that God talks to us and helps teach us about what we can do when we have big feelings. Sometimes we might feel angry when a parent or grown-up asks us to clean up or share, but God teaches us in the Bible that the right choice is to obey. If you feel upset or angry and don't want to obey, you can pray to God like Jonah did. You can ask God for help obeying. Our scuppered friend, Melly is going to help us learn more about how we can obey. She has a super special baking show where we get to see her guests make something amazing today. So let's put on your thinking caps and your listening ears, and let's watch Melly in her special show, Piece of Cake. Hello, and welcome to a special edition of Piece of Cake. Today is a big mystery. I'm your host, Melly, and these are our contestants. Kurt. Hi. And Savannah. Hi, friends. Today, our contestants are going to have to make a unicorn trifle. That's what this delicious creation is that Bog made for us. But they have no idea what it looks like. So how are we supposed to make it? You're going to have to listen to me and do what I say. You're going to have to obey. It's going to be a piece of cake. <laughs> Oh wow, that's gonna be hard. I'm kinda of scared. I'm so nervous. Yes, those are big feelings. And that's why this is going to help us with our big idea today. Oh, that's right. Our big idea is when I have big feelings, I can obey God. So we're gonna practice by obeying Melly? Yep, ready, set, decorate. First, put in tiny squares of colored cake. Okay, I'm going to obey and think about how obeying God means that I listen to God and do what He says. How do we listen to God? Will He give directions like I am? Oh, and that reminds me, now put a layer of frosting in. Oh man. We can listen to God by hearing what He says in the Bible. God gives us lots of things to do in the Bible. Yeah, He tells us to tell the truth, to be kind to others, and to love people. Those are all things we can obey. Oh, I can do that. Now put some crushed up cookies in. 
then some more cake squares. Now, what if God asks me to do something that's hard or that I don't want to do? Like to share or to forgive a friend who's mean to me? Oh, that can be hard. When I have big feelings and I don't want to do something, I have two choices. I can be upset and pout about it, or I can choose to obey. What do you think is the better thing to do? Hmm, probably obey. Okay, add another layer of frosting. Yeah, it's good to obey God, and it's good to obey our parents and teachers when they ask us to do something that is right. Even if it's something I don't want to do, like sharing a toy? Yeah, we should still obey, and if we feel upset or angry, we can pray and talk to God about it. He will always listen and help us when we ask Him to. Okay, so I'm going to remember our big idea. When I have big feelings, I can obey God. Now, you have to remember the last part of what I said. You're gonna put sprinkles on, some Lucky Charms, rainbow fluff, unicorn eyelashes, then two unicorn ears, then one unicorn horn. Ready, set, decorate! Oh, oh, that looks good. Go, go, oh, this go. is so fun. Oh, Savannah, good job. Oh, yes. Yeah. Beautiful, Savannah. Oh, yes, I love cotton candy. I can't wait to eat these. Oh my goodness, did you know my favorite animal is a unicorn? I'm so excited for this. Rainy sprinkles. No, no, I love when it rains sprinkles. Okay, any finishing touches? One more thing for Savannah. Kurt's adding a little more cotton candy. Okay, 10 more seconds. Time's up! Let's see what you did, let's see. Wow, that's really beautiful. Oh, I love all the candy on it, Kurt. And Savannah, that's wonderful. I like all the colors that you use. Do you want to see what Boggs looked like? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, let's see. Ta -da! Wow. <laughs> it looks amazing. Look how pretty it is. Look at all those layers. I didn't make as many layers, but I used a lot of cotton candy. Oh, and he used so many cookies. I think they all look yummy, but we need to choose a winner. Friends, cheer for the unicorn trifle you like best. Here we go. If you like Kurt's trifle, cheer! And if you like Savannah's trifle, cheer now! And the winner is Savannah! Congratulations! <laughs> Thanks, guys! Now, these may not all look the same, but I think they're all going to taste amazing. So, let's eat a piece of cake! Yeah, and friends, I know I learned a lot about obeying today. And I learned our big idea. When I have big feelings, I can obey God. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today for Piece of Cake! We love you and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. Wow, those unicorn trifles were so cool. Is anyone else feeling hungry right now? Kurt and Savannah had to listen closely to Millie's instructions when she was telling them how to make the cakes. When we obey God, we listen to Him by reading our Bible and hearing stories about the things God wants us to do, and then we do what He says. Some of the things God says to do in the Bible are to make the right choices, to think about others and be kind and say nice words to others. God wants us to help others and pray to Him and read the Bible. Sometimes we might not feel like doing those things, but our Bible story about Jonah reminds us that no matter what big feelings we have, the right choice is always to obey God. So let's say a prayer to God right now and tell Him we want to obey Him. So let's put five fingers here, five fingers there, and put them together for a prayer. Dear God, thank you for loving us and caring about our big feelings. Please help us to remember today's Bible story and obey you even when we don't feel like it. I love you so much, amen. Thanks for watching Church at Home with me. I had so much fun with you. And don't forget to have a grown up help you go to saddlebackkids.com for some fun crafts and activities for you to learn more about your big feelings and how God wants to help you with whatever you're feeling. And we'd love to see you at Saddleback Kids too. So check out our campus locations and come visit us. Now let's say our big idea one more time. When I have big feelings, I can obey God. Ready? One, two, three. 
When I have big feelings, I can obey God. Great job. We love you, and we'll see you soon. Bye.